Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your October 2022 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I appreciate it all the way through 2022 now, already into October almost here. And 2023 feels like it's going to be amazing. So if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. So those will bring in aspects of money, career, love, and everything in between. Mondays are different every week. Today's reading is going to be a detailed Celtic cross style reading, but I also do Law of Attraction tarot card readings, love readings. And back in August, um, I did a, a four month predictive, the end of August for the end of the year here. If you haven't seen that, it's in a playlist for your convenience. And if you like tarot, and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Cancer? Messages for Cancer, please. All right, so we will... Start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Current situation, we've got the Seven of Swords. The immediate influence is the Ten of Pentacles. In your subconscious, you have strength. In the distant past, the Four of Swords. The more recent past, the Three of Cups. Five of Cups is headed towards you, but you're, oh boy, you're represented by the Five of Wands. You've got the Two of Swords as the person or situation you're attracting. We've got the Eight of Pentacles here in your hopes and fears. Well, I'd say you don't have anything to worry about with the chariot and the outcome. That's one of those cards that you really want in an outcome position, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Now, oh, I like this. You're going to have a new opportunity here, Cancer. We have here, of course, we have Cancer in the outcome, so I'd say you're going to be triumphant no matter what the question is. You've got Leo showing up here. You have... Um, looks like uh, all the elements coming in here. So, you know, the sun is a time of achievement. It's attainment. It's goals. But I do feel like with that five of pentacles, you have two, no, sorry, three fives here. There's going to be a change. And I do feel like it might be a little bittersweet. Now, I also feel like, too, if you're going to move on from a job or you're moving on from a relationship, you're moving forward, by the way. But somebody here, I feel like they don't see their part in things or they don't see it coming. I feel like it's more them. They're represented by the two of swords. They're more the five of cups there, okay? Um, I feel like it's more you with this five of, of wands that's going to be making the activity, making the action. But either way, that the sun card with the ace of pentacles is openness. It's a card of beautiful energy. It's feeling good about yourself. It's an open-hearted energy. So you see everything with clarity. The sun illuminates all things hidden. And so the sun with that ace of pentacles, you've got the darkness and the five of pentacles. That's contrast, but it can also be ignorance. It can be not seeing things. And so I do feel like there's a bit of a bittersweet departure. It's by you. That's how I feel. Something that you're doing and initiating. But with the Ace of Pentacles, it's a new chapter. And so with the the, um, the energy of the sun, it's like you've got this self-awareness coming in, this sort of this, ur I don't want to say urgency, that's a little bit too strong but you're going to take an opportunity for yourself. That's what I get. It's an, a time for you to take an opportunity. Look, the sun is synergy. We know that. It's like a new lease on life. And so when you see this together, how could you not? You know, for somebody, it is a job change. Others of you, though, it's going to be a relationship. And it's long-lasting. There's something about this. There's going to be a long-lasting change for you. People that you meet in this energy are going to be with you for a long, long time. New jobs, new, you know, new house, something like that, but a new relationship too. And with the sun, it feels like true joy. I mean, it's really that time of feeling like you've never been in love before. And so, too, I do feel like travel plans, anything that you do there is going to feel amazing with this. So, 
Um, we'll talk about the chariot in a minute here, but it's such a great card. Now, I do feel like your, um, your changes are bringing in some friction with somebody here. And it may be an ex, it may be even a friend or a sibling I get, somebody close to you who who doesn't like it. But look, it's grow or go. We don't halt our own spiritual growth for other people. And I do feel like it's going to cause a separation between you and somebody here. That Ten of Pentacles has got to pull on you. And it's not just the money. I mean, yes, it is the wealth card. But it's the harmony. It's the energy behind it. You've manifested this. You've already done the legwork. And so sometimes we, when we come out of a low vibrational state and we're surrounded by low vibrational people, we have a divide. We have that gap in between us and them. And that is palpable. I just feel like it's very noticeable. And But guess what? I feel like you're going to move on. So some of you, it's a new opportunity with work and it's going to bring in more money. There's unexpected money here. Now, if you have inherited money, and it's a challenge because of that. You know how that happens. And that seven of swords is somebody who's greedy around you. I just don't see that stopping you. I do feel like it's going to be resolved. And I do feel like your tenacity in this situation is a big reason why. Like you, you're not going to become a doormat for somebody, whatever this is. You're going to use your intellect. You're going to do what you need to do to get it to stop. If it's not about money and it's a job or something like that. But And I feel like you won't overdo it, but with the chariot and the outcome, you're going to be victorious. I wouldn't really tangle with cancer right now. And not because, because you're a kind and loving sign. I don't mean that in too aggressive of a way. But with the cards that are here, it's not showing it as, and strength too, by the way. And I want to say um, strength comes right after the chariot. So there's something significant here in terms of the, the alignment. Well, this is in your subconscious. It really does, um, you know, it's, it symbolizes infinite abundance. That's what's coming out of your your um, subconscious here. And I also feel like, too, it's about taming something here. There's something about that, an influence on people in a way. But I, I mentioned earlier, people that you meet in this energy, new doors are definitely going to open for you here. But I also feel like, too, in a relationship, you have a card of engagement here. So there may be somebody, too, that's jealous of a relationship that expands. It's true love, though. I mean, it really is coming from a, a blessed place and a place that's supposed to be part of your life. Um, and I do feel like whoever it is that you're attracting, um, they see this as sort of petty nonsense. Like, they kind of look at it as just it's insignificant the conflict around you is insignificant to them they just don't see it as i don't know a big role or a big player that's what i get um but with this so you have this you know underneath it all you have this adaptability you have strength it's a wonderful indicator and no matter what it is you're just going to move forward you're just going to continue to evolve and move forward so the Four of Swords here, some of you, you may have reconciliation. I do get that. And that may be part of what's causing some conflict. If it's not about money or a job and leaving that, there may be something about that that someone in your life doesn't agree with. But this Four of Swords, it gets you back to center, okay? It's a card of really a stillness, a calmness, and getting your mind quieted down, getting your heart to open, and it's a, when you do this in your life, when you take these times for yourself, from there, great things come to pass. It's like this awakening, this sort of reconnection with source, reconnection with who you really are. So you can, again, stop with some of the arguing and the fighting if that is taking place and move forward. So some of you, there may have been a reconciliation with this Three of Cups. This is a card of multiplication and growth. It's real love. It's celebration. It's engagement for somebody. And so I do feel like there might be people around you who don't completely agree with that decision, but you only have one life to live here. You might as well enjoy it. Others of you, though, I mentioned with the job, it's a celebration of that. And I still feel like there's somebody who's not happy about it. Um, it it's whatever it is that you're going to be obtaining here with the chariot, there's a celebration around it. And so with this, it's a card of appreciation, though, telling you to appreciate all those wins, all those little victories throughout the day. Acknowledge those because more will come. You know, it's like with when we when we notice that, it's like it gives it momentum so that more of those little victories throughout the day come into our experience. So the Five of Cups has somebody here. It's like, don't cry over spilled milk is what we call this. 
Um, with this one, I do feel like it's some change and generates this around you. Someone who's looking at the past, right? They're holding out hope for a better past. And you want to tap on their shoulder and say, you who, here's where you need to be looking right behind you. So I do feel like whatever you're going into, I feel like you and this new experience are the two of cups represents you. And so instead of being happy and celebrating for you, they're really looking at what they think is a loss. And so this may cause a rift, a, the rift that becomes uh, something really final for you. So fives are change. I mentioned that, I think, earlier. You've got three of them. Change, change, change. And this is your energy. Oh, dear. Um, now, this can be a bit petty, but I don't think it's that as much as it's just a chaotic kind of energy where you may have to, if it's a money situation, and if it's a job change, you may end up having to kind of grapple for money that's owed to you from an old job. I do get that coming in. Others of you with a relationship, uh, I just feel like those that it's reconciliation, I feel like there's a bit of a critical reception to it. And it's almost like needing to fend off the criticism because we know what that does, right? It gets embedded. We can implant negative ideas or beliefs. So we don't really want to just receive that. And so I just feel like it puts you a bit on guard. Four of Swords would be a nice antidote for this too, just to quiet things down a little bit. And also too, I would say be careful about who you're talking to about this because there's no point in growing this kind of energy. Well, the Two of Swords, twos are about partnerships. This Two of Swords, somebody is not seeing their part in something here. But the bottom sword is fear. The top sword is anger. They have a lot of emotion tied to this. Very unreasonable, okay? It just seems very much like they have unreasonable fears that are not for you, okay? They're not necessary. They're not welcomed. And so with this, there's going to be a new cycle. But I do feel like it's more of a separation than them putting down the swords and taking off the blindfold. I just feel like they're in a bit of an impasse and it's going to be difficult or challenging for you to have their energy around you because it's just not a match. So you've got this evolution coming in here. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of growth. It's definitely a card of long-term stability. Somebody here, it's money that comes in with the Ten. And it's making gains. So if you've been squabbling over money, I do feel like you get what's yours. And then it, the door closes on the rest of the conversation. But those of you, too, that it's a new love interest, you're going to have a future with this person. There's no doubt about it. There's an evolution here. And I do feel like your focus is just going to be on that. You're not going to keep picking up the phone to hear somebody's opinion. You're not going to, you know, again, if they're being kind of passive aggressive because it's a new situation or a reconciliation, there's just something about them that they cannot be happy for someone else. Can't quite figure out why that is, but it's usually insecurity. Well, when the chariot comes in, this is a card of a major journey. It really is a time of goals and it's things moving forward, but it's with much stability. It is also, too, as a card of, of um, taking a leap of faith. You've got great support, law of attraction. The two sphinxes are balanced, okay? So I mentioned, they say, take that leap of faith and it's all going to work out. This is a card of things moving forward. This can be about taking a trip or a journey or even buying a new car. So if it has something to do with money and you're wanting to buy this car and you're like, oh, God, I don't want them to see me in it. Well, here's your card for that. You're going to get it anyway. It's having a, it's very mature energy, which I like to see with all those fives. The outcome of this is maturity, it's robustness, and it's also too like, in some ways, it's controlling personality issues because it is a card of control. It's a card too, I think that will be of self-restraint for some of you, but you're in flow here and really ultimately, you're on a path of spiritual perfection here, so you might as well let it go forward. So let's see what the angels have to say for you, Cancer. Really a very interesting reading, quite frankly. I love the outcome, but there's definitely some interesting energies coming in. So let's see what, what else Cancer needs to know, please. Messages for Cancer, please. Advice for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Well, you've got listen to your intuition. Your intuition 
will be your guide. So meditate, be in that place of stillness, ask for help from others. You do have somebody significant coming, significant coming in here with the chariot. I almost get hermit energy a little bit too off of them. Let go and let the universe, let it flow. You are in flow with the chariot and the outcome within the next few weeks, they say, and you've got a yes, cancer. Good things are on the way for you. I love you and I'll be back again soon.